Caring for a newborn baby is exhausting, and when triplets come along, that exhaustion can easily become overwhelming. After Haley Arsenault of Tignish PEI had her triplets a month ago, she posted a plea on Facebook, desperate for a few helping hands. Her community has stepped up and is now helping out, including three sisters from Tignish. Joining me now uh, from, on Skype from Tignish are those three sisters, Jenny McDougall, Alice Mokler, and Anita Arsenault. Thank you so much for joining me. Good morning. Uh, how did you hear about Haley and her babies? Was it simply through Facebook? Well, yeah, it was through Facebook. When we saw the, um, the mom putting that out, it took a lot of courage and trust for her to do that. And um, we love babies. We didn't know the mom, and we just barely knew the mother, um, her mother. So we uh, decided that we wanted to do this. Uh, Jenny, talk, talk to me about the time commitment that you put in each and every day. What's the schedule like for the three of you? Uh, it's not, we're just a small part of this, really. The community is really coming together for Haley. She's a single mom. And uh, we go on Wednesday mornings. We do from 9 to 1. And uh, it's just, we, we signed up for that. So every Wednesday until she no longer needs us. Alice, what, talk to me about your time with the babies. What, what do you get out of this? I really get a lot of pleasure out of doing this. Like when we go in and we go to the crib and we see the three small heads sleeping in the crib, the three babies, and then right away we want to hold them. When they wake, we hold them and feed them and cuddle them and change them and burp them. I really love doing it. I mean, I've uh, raised my own family and I always love babies and I love, I love holding them especially. Anita, as, as, as has already been said, the three of you are part of a larger group of people helping out. Um, how many people in the community have actually signed up to help out care for these triplets? Uh, I'm not quite sure, but uh, there is a book on the table, and you sign up and, and take a shift. Whether, you know, but there is a lot of people. There's a big uh, fundraiser coming up to help the mom, and uh, there will be a lot of people to help. Have you noticed any personality traits developing in the kids yet? Yes. We do see a difference from week to week as we go. Yes, they're more alert and they're looking at us and we hope to get a smile this week. I mean, this is really a redefinition of sort of the, like the, the, the notion of an extended family. And they, we always say it takes a village. It literally is taking this town to help raise these kids. How do you feel to be part of sort of this... Um, you know, I won't call it an extended family, but but uh, sort of this this incredible uh, helping network. Well, I think it's a gift. Um, Haley's just a sweet young mother, and uh, she's just allowed us in, and that takes a lot of courage and a lot of trust to do that. So um, I just find it's been a blessing in every way to be part of this. Do, do you do you feel? I mean, how how long do you think this is going to go on for? You said as long as she needs you, but how long could you see yourselves helping out for? You know, that's a really good question, and we've thought about that. And uh, when I'm being really honest, when I say for as long as she needs us, you know, I don't know. Maybe when they're in school, we don't know. We've just taken so. it. We've taken it at what it's giving us and what we can give back. And uh, we're going to do it until it's no longer necessary. As grandmas, maybe when they're a little older, it may be harder to run after them. But right now, <laughs> holding them is really a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. Alice, Jenny, Anita, on this family day, uh, thank you for showing us the absolute best of Canadian family. Uh, we wish you nothing but the best today. And uh, good luck with everything. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot.